Well, I was new to the Jenna Marie, so I was just trying to see how they worked. Most crews do things their own way, but I remember thinking at the time that they were all very relaxed about the operation. While we waited to let go, I noticed that the roll on the pedestal was a bit loose. They told us in training that you should never use a pedestal roller or fair lead with a loose bearing. So I told the boss about it and he told me not to worry about it because it will be getting fixed at the next dry dock. It didn't seem right to me, but I was new on the, on the ship and you know when you're new, you don't want to cause a fuss. And as I say, the boss seemed okay about it. Well, there was a lot to do that day after letting that container ship go. I was supposed to be working with Dave on the quayside checking the fenders. So we weren't paying much attention to the Janet Marie as it was unmooring. We had our own job to do and it was a busy port with ships coming and going all the time. So, uh, so we just carried on working as normal. I still remember the sound of that bang. It's like it's printed on my mind. I don't think I'll ever be able to forget it either. So I was bent down at that moment. I was looking over the quayside at the fender and I felt a breeze passing over the back of my neck. But it was very quick like, less than a second. Then I looked to my right and there was Dave about 10 meters away. <laughs> I mean, one second he was stood next to me and the next he was over there. There was blood everywhere. I tell you, I've seen some accidents in my time, but this was really horrible. I wish I would have been a bit stronger and made sure he would listen to me, but I didn't. I just let them carry on with the mooring operation and now look what happened. Poor maintenance occurs in two ways. Either the actions of the person completing the maintenance have not been thorough, or the maintenance has not been completed when it should have been. As with any machine, mooring equipment must be well maintained to ensure that all of its parts function as they should. If parts cannot do this, they become stressed and fail, often causing a knock-on effect with the failure of other parts. A recent Classification Society report showed that lost anchors and chains are commonly caused by the brake lining or brake band on the windlass being in a poor state and not adequately able to control the chain movement. Similarly, joining shackles and swivels being defective where the pin is not secure and the anchor becomes detached from the chain. There have been cases where vessels have grounded or collided with fixed objects because of mooring equipment failure. There have also been injuries to personnel caused by parts failing. <laughs> 